The Showdown of the Large Cats Let's assume we're talking about average males from each species in their absolute prime, fully grown, fully matured, and fully prepared for a fight. The cheetah is pretty much doomed from the start. He's either going to get brutally mauled in the first fight he gets involved in, or get disqualified for sprinting away in the opposite direction at 65 miles per hour. Same goes for the snow leopard. While exceptionally large males can max out at around 80 kilograms, we're talking about the average, and the average male is somewhere between 40 to 60 kilograms. Not very impressive when compared to any other big cat. Let's get this out of the way. The cheetah has finished in 7th place, with the snow leopard just ahead in 6th. Cheetahs aren't designed for a fight. They don't have any of the traits the other large cats have, which make them great fighters. They're sprinters, nothing more and nothing less. Throw a cheetah in the pit with any of these other cats and it's going to get taken apart pretty quickly. And as for snow leopards, well, they're just small compared to the other cats. Leopards are their closest in weight, but even they are around 15 kilograms heavier. A snow leopard may be able to cause leopard problems, but I would personally back the leopard 9 times out of 10. Now then, onto the real fighters. I think it's pretty obvious that the tiger and lion are in a league of their own. They're much heavier than the other three, so we'll put them to one side for now. First fight, the leopard versus the puma. The largest of the small cats versus the second smallest of the big cats. At first glance, the scales seem to be tipped in favor of the puma, with its stockier frame and weight advantage, weighing in at an impressive 90 kilograms compared to the leopard's 70 to 75 kilograms. It's clear the puma's weight could play a huge role. However, my opinion on leopards has changed over the past six months or so. As someone pointed out to me, leopards fight in a different way to all other large cats. Obviously, they don't always fight like this, but they do more so than any other cat. They lie on their back and kick out with all four of their paws. And they do it insanely fast. So, while the puma may hold the weight advantage, leopards have the upper hand when it comes to technique. Also, leopards seem to have a larger head than pumas, which indicate they may have a slightly stronger bite force, despite being a little lighter. Although this is just an assumption, I could easily be wrong. This is an incredibly close fight to call. If you notice the physique of each cat, then the cougar's longer neck could potentially help him out, but at the same time, could also offer the leopard a larger target to attack. Another thing to note is that pumas often hunt tougher animals than leopards, hunting things like elks and cows, while leopards typically only hunt smaller animals such as gazelles, impalas, and occasionally, wildebeests. Leopards are pretty well known for being the more aggressive of these two species, often being less scared of hunters. But I'm not sure how much this will help out the leopard when up against a larger opponent. I'm gonna have to give this fight to the puma. Not by much, but I think its weight and toughness would be enough to tip the scales in his favor. 60 out of 40 in favor of the puma. As for leopard versus jaguar, I think it will be a similar outcome for the leopard. Jaguars are typically a lot heavier and have a stockier frame than leopards. This, coupled with their enormous bite force, would be enough to defeat the leopard. Again, 60 out of 40 in favor of the jaguar. For the last fight between the medium-sized cats, we have the jaguar versus the cougar. Personally for me, this is the closest fight between any two cats in this list. 
It's almost like having the same cat against each other, just with some minor differences. It's important to notice the jaguar's weight advantage. Although there's not a huge difference, it's an advantage nonetheless. Jaguar's average weight is around 90 to 100 kilograms. Pantanal jaguars have the potential to grow to around 130 kilograms. Something to note about the jaguar is his incredible bite force. They can bite down at 1,300 psi, which is very powerful, while cougars have a bite force of 724 psi. The reason this is important is because it means the jaguar has the potential to end the fight almost instantly with one bite to the head. In order for the puma to get the kill, he will need to hold down the jaguar in place while he bites down on his neck, something that's going to be very tough to do. Overall, it's a close fight, but I'd give the slight edge to the jaguar. The puma may be slightly faster, but the pound-for-pound -pound strength of the jaguar will be too much for the puma to handle. 55 out of 45 in favor of the jaguar. Lastly, we have the main event. The two largest cats currently walking the face of the earth. The African lion versus the Siberian tiger. Now, I know a lot of people can get very emotional when we're talking about these two animals, so take everything I say with a pinch of salt. This is just my opinion. So, we have the Siberian tiger weighing an impressive 300 kilograms. He also has an impressive bite force of around 1000 psi and incredibly strong front legs. On top of this, he also has the best fighting style out of any large predator on earth. Tigers have a unique ability to lean on their back legs and strike with both of their paws and claws, and they can do it insanely fast and generate a crazy amount of force into these shots. I mean, just look at those front legs. That's incredible. Now let's look at his opponent. Lions on average weigh around 200 kilograms. Despite being slightly taller than tigers, they weigh 30 kilograms less. This indicates the tiger's muscle density is greater than the lion's. Nonetheless, 200 kilograms is still a very impressive size. The lion's technique when approaching a fight is not as effective as the tiger's. Despite having more fights in the wild, it's clear when you watch lions fight that they aren't quite as quick or powerful as tigers. They tend to balance on three legs and just swipe with one paw and bite a lot more than tigers. While they are capable of leaning on their back legs and striking with their paws, they simply aren't as quick as tigers and prefer to wrestle their opponents rather than strike them. One huge advantage a male lion has is his mane. A helmet of fur which goes around his head and neck, which makes getting a killing blow on him extremely difficult. It's essentially like watching two people box, but one of them is wearing a head guard. That's the equivalent advantage a lion has. However, despite the lion's mane, my vote goes in favor of the tiger. It's heavier, it's pound for pound stronger, it has a stronger bite force, and it has a better fighting technique. The tiger will simply be too much for the lion to handle. 80 out of 20 in favor of the tiger. So these are the final standings.